Hi, my name is Heather and today I'm going to show you how you can take a sketch and bring it into Affinity Designer and convert it to vector so that you can have an SVG cut file that you can bring into Cricut Design Space. And this is for single color illustrations. After this video, I will have another one that will be for multicolor illustrations. This is my drawing of a little baby pterodactyl. I made this in Procreate and right now I'm in Procreate on my iPad because I just want to show you how you would save it out. So you can go to the little toolbar and do share and then you can just share it as a JPEG and just do save image. Now I'm going to go into Affinity Designer and I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to pick a new document and you can just use all of the settings here and just click OK. And now I'm in my new document and I just want to place my drawing. In case you didn't make it in Procreate, by the way, you could always, you know, take a picture of it or scan it in if you did it traditionally with pencil or something but placing it's going to be the same you're just going to click that little file thingy there and do place image and then I do the import from photos and when you save a photo out from procreate rather than file because you can save as a file or a photo so when you save a photo it actually ends up in this photos part here so I like to do that because it's just easy to find and you don't have to give it a specific name. So then it's imported, but I just have to take my Apple Pencil and drag like this. And that'll place it. And so now we have this on a layer. So in Affinity Designer, just like as with Procreate or, you know, a lot of other programs like Photoshop and all that, you have your layers. So this is your little layers palette here. And right here we have this layer here, photo.jpg, and the main thing is like when we're drawing on it, we don't want to accidentally move it around because that's going to be annoying. So click on the layer here and we're going to click these three dots and we're going to click lock. And then the other thing we want to do is just turn the opacity down. So I'm going to turn it down like this and then we can go back and we can close the layer palette. and. Now it's locked, it's not going to move around, and it's a low opacity, so we'll be able to trace over it. So let's go back to the layers palette, and then I'm going to add a new layer, and it's going to be a vector layer, because that's what we're going to be drawing on. So the way that Cricut needs to see things is in vector, and that's what an SVG is, it's vector. And it just means that all of the lines are actually like curves, like little math equations like turn in this angle rather than like a bunch of little dots and pixels. So I have my new layer here and I'm just going to draw over all my lines with the brush tool. So this is the brush here, vector brush tool. So I click on that and then you can start drawing. So I'm going to hide this. But one thing about when you start drawing is it's like all one width. And you might like that, like for your style, but for me, I like to have variable widths, like have it thick in some places and thin in others. So I'm gonna go down to controller and change this to pressure. And then for the width of the stroke, you can kind of test it and see how wide it is. So if I go lightly and then I press hard, then like this is the thinnest it'll be and that's the thickest. So I might want it to be a little bit thicker than that. So I'm going to click on this and maybe I'll change it to like 15 and then I can test it again and I do like that a little bit better. So now we can go ahead and start drawing and by the way you can go into your settings. Some of your settings might be different than mine are. Um, so if you see any settings that I have that you want, you know, you could always ask me in the comments and I'll let you know how I did it. But like you can make it so that you can rotate it just like in Procreate. 
and that's one of the settings. Just FYI, in case you see me do it and you're like, how is she doing that? Now that we have our pen ready, we can go ahead and start drawing. And it's pretty much similar to Procreate, where, you know, since we changed the pressure there, like you want to go lighter and harder. Actually, I would like this to be a little thinner as far as like the thinnest. So I'm going to click more and then I want to go to size variants and I'm just going to click and drag it up so that way there's like more variants so it get, it'll get thinner. And then now when I draw, now I can get that thin and then thick. Oh wait, this one back though. Okay, and then I think I, I'm gonna bring this down maybe to like 11. Okay, that's better. Now I'm just going to draw over my whole thing. And one thing with this is because it's vector, you can move your lines around. It's kind of like if you've used Procreate, when you're able to like edit your line just temporarily, like right after you make it, it's kind of like that, but you can always edit it. And you want to go to this little node tool right here, and then this will show you all the nodes in it. And you can like move your nodes around. There's a lot more like advanced stuff you can do, but I won't get into all of it. But like you can make a node, whether it's going to be sharp like a point, or like smooth it out so that it's rounded. You can like break points so that you can make it into um, multiple lines and all that kind of stuff. But I won't get into all of that in this video. But basically just click on whichever line you want to edit and then you can move the point around. And then whenever you're ready to go back to drawing, then you can go back to your brush tool and just draw. I always get annoyed when it adds way too many anchor points. Like all we really need are just a few. We don't need all these here because it just makes it less smooth. It kind of makes it a little more bumpy. So one thing that I do like to do is click on the anchor point and then delete it. And then you can do that if there are a bunch that you don't need. And then that way, then you just pull this handle out and then this is much smoother. So now we're all done with the pterodactyl and you can just go to your layer palette and scroll all the way to the bottom and you have your sketch layer so you can either delete that or just hide it. If you press the little check mark then you'll just hide it or you can just click the layer and then delete. And then if you look in the layers palette you'll see this whole thing is on one layer and click this little arrow that expands it and then you can see these are all the curves here. Then we can go ahead and hide it and then we want to convert them to shapes because if you look it's a line and if you were to import that into Cricut it's just going to see that there's a line it's not going to know how thick it's supposed to be so it's not going to know that it's supposed to be like thin here and thick here or anything like that it's just going to see a line and actually that's how you would do a file that you would draw, like where you stick the pen tool in the Cricut and then it draws. That's how you would do one of those, is by just only having the lines and not having them as shapes. But, you know, that's a whole other thing. So, anyways, let's go ahead and grab this move tool so we can grab everything. Or, alternatively, you can just go to the layers palette and then just click on the layer because that will select it too. And then we want to go to these three dots up here. And then we're going to do expand stroke. And then here you can see that it's all these little outlines. And if you click on this little tool right here, the node tool, then you can really see 
that you have nodes all along the edge and it's all outlined. So you don't have just the one line in the middle anymore. Now it's all shapes. If you zoom in to where two intersect, you'll see that there's like a little curve where there's the end of the line. So if we were to just put this into Cricut Design Space now, the Cricut would cut that and it would cut out that little part right there, which we don't want. We want these to be combined so it's one shape. So the next thing we're gonna do is click these three dots and we're gonna go down to geometry and do add. That combined them all so that it's one shape. See, so we don't have those intersecting lines anymore. It's all one shape. And then you do need to just kind of check some certain areas that may be problem areas. So one example is where I filled in this eye. So since I just kind of, you know, filled it in with the pencil, there's all these holes here. So I'll go ahead and delete a bunch of those guys. So I'm gonna use my node tool and then click this and do delete. I'm just gonna delete each of these individual nodes. And then that way it's just gonna be one solid area. And then this part can probably be a little bit smoother here. So first of all, this is a little weird because it goes in. So I'll just bring it up like that. Or maybe I'll just delete that node actually. So that way this can be nice and smooth. And then I can delete some of these nodes just so I can make this smoother here. Now our little dinosaur is ready to go. And now we'll just need to save it out as an SVG. So I'm going to go to this here and then I'm going to do export. And we will pick SVG. And then we have all these options here. Um, so we can do the file name. So Taro Baby. And then we have the area. It says whole document. Text is curves. You probably would want to do that, but we don't have any text in here. The rest is all probably fine. And then let's just not have the JPEG compression, but I don't think it matters since we don't have an image in it. But you know, just so you're used to like not using JPEG compression. Now we can do okay. And just save it like wherever, you know, you usually save stuff. And then that's it. Then you can go ahead and import it into Cricut Design Space. Now I'm in Cricut Design Space and I can click New Project and I'm just going to import, I'm going to upload, browse files because I saved mine in the files, Tarot Baby, and there he is. Okay, and we click him, insert. Here's our little tarot baby. And if we go to layers, then you can see he's a little cut there and he's all ready to go. I hope that this helped with creating a cut file on your iPad. There are definitely a lot of different ways to do it. And I might make some videos on the other different ways you can do it. But also, after you've watched this video, then you're probably ready to do multicolor SVGs. That will be my next video, which is going to be how to make a multicolor SVG in Affinity Designer. For now, thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful. Thanks, bye!